You know it hasn't been raining a whole lot, and as soon as I stepped out, it started raining. I think we're gonna work through this anyways. Welcome back to Bullford 82. Uh, sorry I've been slacking on the videos. I just uh, haven't been in the mood for one, and I've been kind of busy with a lot of stuff. And uh, I don't got much planned today, so we're gonna take the bed off of this truck. But we're gonna do it the unorthodox way because it's a little, it's a little rotted out. Um, my plan is to make a flatbed for this. Temporary permanent one for hopefully not a whole lot of money. Um, so my plan is to get the bedsides up. The outer part of the bedsides are in really good shape. And I got them up on Marketplace, but the way I did the posts, because they're not off yet, everybody thinks I'm parting out the truck. So I'm gonna get the bedsides off, lay them out in the yard, get, take new pictures, update my thing, because what I want to do is sell the bedsides for someone who needs basically a, a repair panel. I can put the whole whole side on. Um, and it's raining. I wonder if I should put my pop top up. So this is a, my friend's landscape truck. And if you leave grass or you know any kind of yard debris in here for too long, this is the kind of issues that you're going to run into and this truck only has 148,000 miles on it. Look at this. It's raining on me right as soon as I stepped out here. Here. You know, I had some gas station food a little bit ago. It's uh not doing all that great. I'm not doing all that great. kind of stopping. Just had a little bit of a squall blow through. I'm surprised these are coming out. Okay, that's off. All right, what do we got in here? Feels like it's locked. 
is the lock mechanism right here. Open up. Yeah, there we go. Let's say we take this whole tailgate off. These will work on the junk truck. Probably not. Still get right be fixed up and sold. Why? What do you got to eat right here? Wrong way. Well, what's what's holding you on? Kinds of funsies in here. So I think it's still attached right here. It's still attached here, so we'll, we'll cut that. And I was thinking of, so I don't think I'm going to reuse this. is maybe we could just come with an angle grinder and we'll just cut this. I'm not really sure how I want to do that. We'll come to that point here in a moment. Or what we, we could do is if we cut it here, cut it there. Now I want to do a section at a time. That's the thing. Okay, let me think about this and then we'll uh, start cutting. You know, I just watched Top Gun Maverick. Great movie. And uh, you know what they say in that movie? Don't think, just do. I'm only gonna think a little bit because I don't want to hack up any wiring harnesses. The only harness we have coming here is the, uh, the dude. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is First, let's scrape some dirt out of the way. So this is, I apologize for the road noise. It's people are getting home. We've got a pinch weld there. I wonder if we could take an angle grinder and just buzz that real quick. And then see how loose it gets. Like just do this little baby steps at a time. So I'm gonna go get some earplugs and We'll maybe cut right there, or I'm real. I've got a short blade. I'm I'm thinking I'm just gonna maybe try and cut through this.
Now, we should do burnouts. Just kidding. Well, that's a start. We gotta figure out how to hold that thing up. I gotta trim this a little bit more. But other than that, I'm left with pretty much a nice straight edge. On both sides, oh, I gotta trim this too. Whoops, whoops. Yeah, I'll come back with the blade and I'll just just trim that off and we're good to go. We got a little bit down here. We'll have to trim just a little bit and we gotta try and maybe take the grinder and just dig a piece of that out and then that'll be good. And I think we're gonna, we'll build a frame. I might actually get some treated two by sixes and we'll just build on top of this. We could even get rid of this all together. I'd like to leave it just cause it gives me something to build off of. So I don't know, we'll see. But now I can install the bed sides, they're ready to go. Oh, that's scary. Da, 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 da. Don't mind the wind. Um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna sell the bed sides and that tailgate, oh, 500 bucks, take the whole thing. 500, so if any of you are interested, I'll leave my email down below, you can email me, and if you want it, you can have it for 500 bucks. Otherwise, it's going to Marketplace for 500 bucks. So, yeah, this has been fun. This is cool, I basically have a flatbed, it's just, it's done, we don't need fenders or anything. We'll have to figure out fenders. Something out of metal, preferably. Maybe get some universal wheel tubs and just self tapper them onto here and then, and then we, I think I pro probably should do that first. Do that first, get wheel tubs in and then hopefully I can get something cheap. Um, that looks half decent. We'll do wheel tubs and then when I sell all that we'll get the stuff for building the platform. I think really all I want to do is get some treated 2x4s, either bolt them on top or here. Maybe on top. Maybe, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Have some runners go along the sides. Not sure how I'm going to do it, but this is a starting point. I wanted to get this done so I could sell all that and get some money to put into this. Yeah. So with that, that's going to be it for this video. This is all I wanted to do in this video. Oh wait, let's take a look at the spark plugs and ignition coils. First of all, I don't know if you noticed, I got a freebie for the front. A friend of mine had this bug guard and it was brand new in the package. He had it for a Super Duty truck, never put it on, got rid of the truck. And uh, so he gave it to me, he said he, I could have it. So I got that on there. I like having bug guards and I think it kind of makes the front end look just a, a touch nicer. But We need to take a look at our Triton here. Um, yeah, um, it has a really bad misfire. Doesn't throw a flashing check engine light, which I find kind of odd, 
but she runs like she's got a pretty good size uh, misfire. Um, and it's one of those things that kind of comes and goes. Um, and I've got a code for, um, I think it was bank one or bank two running too lean. So we've gone over this before and I found nothing wrong with any of the hoses and connections under the hood. So I don't think we have any vacuum leaks but it is definitely running like it's got a straight up misfire. And I think that's what's causing the code. And sometimes it's a, not a lean code, it'll be our too rich code. So I think it could be possible there's a spark plug that's going out or whatnot, but God, you figure, you figure you get a flashing check in your life, it's misfiring, because it, it shakes pretty good going down the highway. And I was thinking, oh, maybe it's torque converter or tires, it's none of that, because um, it does the same shake at an idle. So, a couple things to note. Just a smidge low on coolant there. Ugh. One thing was, I checked the oil, I was pretty much out. So I put a bunch of oil in it. It's good there, but when I took the oil cap off, Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Now, this truck has been driven short distances. Okay, it's not, you know, taken out on the highway for very long. Um, I typically just drive this thing around town, despite the shake and misfire and the missing catalytic converter material. Um, that, that never hurt me. Well, there's a lot of water in that. It smells like... It smells like straight up exhaust. I'd like to know where my long ratchet is. It's kind of my go-to. So far, I've only had one plug out on this. hoses in the way I can't see nothing all right is this thing gonna break off we're gonna end up pulling this engine I think one eternity later all right I'm gonna call it at this video I don't feel like getting that last coil uh, and plug my back's starting to hurt and I gotta work tomorrow and I gotta take it easy. So, we got, how many do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. We got six out of two. One of which I'm not gonna bother because it's brand new. Still got the one in the bag. Um, so, I'll get to that one later. Um, and that one could be left alone, but I wanna at least change the plug. Uh, so, all of our plugs here, we got so it's funny, we had two in the front that look like this. This is what's, you know, supposed to be in there. So we have two of these, and then pretty much all of our other plugs are look like regular, you know, cheapo, whatever. I mean, they're champions, but it's technically not what is supposed to be in there. I consider that problem one. The potential problem number two is the uh, spark plug in the very front on the driver's side had that water or moisture in there and I believe we found that on, on the other side as well. So you know that doesn't do us any favors having moisture in the spark plug tubes. I've had that with a town car with a 4.6. It didn't like it. Surprise. Our other problem is my problem uh, we have I have mismatched coils so I've got a no name no name um, I've got two motocrafts probably original in total we have three motocrafts because there's a motocraft in the back that we haven't taken out yet I got a Denso 
I got a Dura last. Hi, <sighs> Tubes. It's obviously future Jimmy. After this video, I've been waiting to put this ignition coil part together. Didn't want to make it too boring, but anyways, we know we've got some ignition coils that are mismatched, plugs that are mismatched, and uh, yeah. So my plan soon is to get just uh, three ignition coils and then we'll put it up back together, see how it runs. I don't really want to spend the money on plugs, so um, yeah, we'll do coils, get, get the mismatched coil out of there. But yeah, what do you guys think? It's flatbed. <laughs> we got a lot to do and we're gonna do some some lights back here I want to get some half decent ones and oh yeah for 500 bucks you can get tail light lenses also that comes with the bed I don't I don't need it anyway soups that's it for this video I'll catch you later